Good morning, y'all. I'm up early. I work today, so I thought I would uh, put some soup in the crock pot and it'll be ready when I get home this afternoon. I'm glad y'all are coming to visit. It's cold as I'll get out here in Texas. It's 26 this morning. Winter finally decided to come to Texas. We've enjoyed burning the fireplace and <clears throat> having some true cooler weather. Uh, it's going to be in, only in the 40s for a couple of days and then in the 50s and 60s during the day. So that is winter time for us and I love it. I had made a roast and I showed y'all in a video. And generally when I have leftover roast, I make vegetable beef soup with it. So I thought I would show y'all what I'm going to do today. I'm going to... I've got some vegetables peeled, but I've got to get them chopped. I'm just going to put everything in the crock pot on low and it'll cook until I get home this afternoon from work. And then I'll make a pan of cornbread and we'll have soup and cornbread. That's good cold weather food. So I'm going to bring the camera over here and let y'all watch me a little bit while I chop stuff up. Listen to me rattle a little bit. And, and then we'll get it in the crock pot and I'll get along my way. Now when I make vegetable soup, I like to put just about everything in it. So I'm going to put a little bell pepper, some potatoes, onions, celery, carrots, a little bit of cabbage. I'll put corn. I'm going to put some canned tomatoes and uh, some little one can of lima beans and a few green beans. I like it, all the vegetables in it. And then if my broth doesn't taste just exactly right, because I put the roast and the leftover gravy or juice from where I cooked it for flavor, I can add some beef bouillon if I need to. So I was just going to show y'all, when I start to peel my carrots, I line them all up like this, and I cut the ends off. That way, when I get through peeling, I'm done. See how easy you just hold it like that? It's easy, and then this digs the eyes out of the... They came in a set of three, and somebody looked it up for me and told me what the name of them was, but I don't remember. Okay, while I've rattled, I've got my carrots done. I'm going to get all this cleaned up, and then I'll start chopping, and I'll bring y'all back. How's that? Okay, y'all, I'm into the chopping mode here. I'm going to, uh, what I do, I cut my potatoes in half. Can you see what I'm doing? And then I lay them down and I third them. And then I cut that about three or four times and I get pretty good uniform size little squares of potato. I mean, y'all probably think, Goofy, I know how to cut a potato. But if you want them to all kind of look the same size, that's kind of a method. On my carrots, because they'll be in the crock pot and have plenty of time to cook, I'm just going to cut them. Uh, in rounds. Now that great old big one, I did cut it in half and cut it up some more, but I'm just uh, cutting my carrots up. And then I'm just going to cut my celery in bigger pieces because if somebody should come that don't really like celery, it's easier to push it aside if you've got it in bigger pieces. My grandkids will pick all the celery out they don't like in my bowl. The ones that come pretty often. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I don't know. And I'm going to cut it in bigger pieces too because everybody doesn't like bell pepper but they like the flavor of the juice. So we'll have some bell pepper in it. We don't have the little heater on out in the sunroom and I went out there and it's like walking in a deep freeze. It's pretty chilly here. I saw a deal on uh, the news that said it was colder in Houston than it was in Anchorage, Alaska. Now that is strange. Some of those celery, they didn't grow up to be big old grandpas. I'm going to cut them a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to cut some onions okay. up. I've got it all chopped. And I'm going to try to get it into this bowl to go put it into the crock pot. going to be a big old pot of soup. Okay, now I've got my cabbage here. And I don't want it in little pieces, but I'm just going to I just cut a wedge of it off. I just like the flavor that it gives to add some cabbage to it. I've had my crock pot over there preheating. Let's see if I can get it where y'all can see. So I'm going to put my vegetables in, and they're just about going to fill it, aren't they? Lord, I might have done too much. 
they'll cook down some. And this is just whole kernel. And as y'all can see, there's really no measurements to this. And I may have to put some in a pot on the stove. It looks like I'm going to have way too much, but I'll stir it around in a minute. Okay, I've added my roast and a can of, of beans, lima beans. And I'm just going to toss it where it'll all be incorporated well. And I will end up, I'm going to add onion and garlic powder, salt and black pepper. And I'm probably going to add a little bit of tomato powder that I have dried tomato powder from Thrive. Because I love the tomato flavor in my vegetable soup. And I'm going to put about three tablespoons of onion powder in there. That's a lot of soup. And they're going to be heaping tablespoons too. and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now I did put um, three small cloves of garlic in there. But I like it very flavorful. I don't like it to not have enough flavor in the juice. And I'll taste my juice because I don't have anything in here that's raw that's going to hurt it's already me. cooked. I mean, Now, if I had made gravy with the roux, which I didn't this time with the roast, with the juice from the roast, I would add that gravy to this, y'all. It gives it a killer flavor when you do that. I'm using my ratchet pepper grinder that I got at Stella Cobb, and it's so neat because instead of twisting the top, you just ratchet it back and forth. I okay, I've definitely got a full pot of uh, soup. And I've got the kind of lid that fastens on, so I'm going to get my lid on it and get it over here and plug it in. Snap that lid in place. Get it plugged in and I'll have supper ready when I get home this afternoon. It's kind of fogged up, but I've got it into the uh, pot with the lid on it, the crock pot. And I've got it on high to start with, and then I'm going to cut it to low and just let it cook until I get home this afternoon, which will be, it's going to cook about six hours or so. Here's our bowl of soup all dished up. And there's the crock pot, and it was a pot full of delicious soup. Y'all, I just got in from work, and you saw the big old crock pot full of soup. And I've got a bowl of soup ready to sit down at the supper table and eat. And then I'm going to run to church. I hope y'all have had a good day. It's cold here. It's going to be very cold again tonight and tomorrow. So soup just fits the bill for the menu. Hope y'all are putting something good on your supper table and spending some time with your family. And hope you come right back here um, on the next designated day and visit with me in the kitchen. The good Lord bless y'all.